Hello, hello. Hi, boo boo. It's working. Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to Mirror Interpretation Todorova. My name is Joanna, and I am an interpreter in a polyglot. I studied in Bulgaria. I have a bachelor fellow in Bulgaria in Sarzagora and master's fellow, a bachelor in Italy of business management and business administration with the languages followed in Italy, in Perugia. And I moved to USA six years ago, seven years ago, and fell in love with medical interpreter, interpreting somehow. And here I am today with you guys and with Anna creating this uh, bilingual medical interpreter training videos. Anna, go ahead. You can introduce yourself. Hello, everyone. My name is Anna. I'm an English-Russian translator. I have an honors degree in English linguistics, and I've been doing translations for over eight years now since my graduation. Don't be shy, Anna. You can shout louder. <laughs> it's okay. We we don't we don't judge you here. You're home. It's just the mic is clear, guys. I want to make sure that she understands that it, we're testing the voice coming to me. Okay, guys. And now that Anna is ready to speak fully, strongly with her beautiful voice, we are going to start here to share with you, uh, and I'm going to introduce this training. This training is medical interpreter terminology training, hematology. We are going to show you a portion of the training that you will be able to purchase on my platform on Thinkific by clicking on the link below this video. This little portion is just a free promo of the entire training, which is approximately, I don't know how many hours I'm going to see. I think it's uh, 6 by 45 minutes, and there is another 4 by 40 so it's going to be about 10 hours of a training, more or less. And we're going to start with this first. Uh, I'm going to show you. We're going to, me and Anna, we're going to show you the first portion of this training called Medical Terminology English versus Russian Hematology. Hematology, человеческая кровь, медицинская терминология. In this training, we are going to talk about a human blood. Человеческая кровь. Blood tests. Анализы крови. Pulse oximetry. Pulse oximetry. ABG or arterial blood gas tests. Анализ ГСАК. Анализ газового состава артериальной крови. Гипоксия. Гипоксия. Blood pressure. Кровяное или артериальное давление. Холестерол. Холестерин. Хемоглобин. Гемоглобин. What is low hemoglobin? Что такое низкий уровень гемоглобина? Gen therapy for low hemoglobin. Венная терапия при низком уровне гемоглобина. Анемия. What is анемия? Анемия. Что такое анемия? Treatment of анемия and sickle cell анемия. Лечение анемии и серповидно-клеточной анемии. What is diabetes? Что такое диабет? Гипотермия. Гипотермия. And then the last video is procedures, starting with blood transfusion. Процедуры. Переливание крови. Red blood cells transfusions. Переливание эритроцитов. Anesthesia and sedation. 
анестезия и седация. Contrast agent dye or contrast. Контрастное вещество. Краситель. And now we're going to break down what is inside of the first video. So this first setting was including what you guys are going to see in this training. In the first video, we are going to talk about human blood. Человеческая кровь. Red blood cells. Красные кровяные тельца или эритроциты. White blood cells. Белые кровяные тельца. Platelets. Кровяные пластинки. Blood tests. Анализы крови. Complete blood count CBC. Общий анализ крови ОАК. Липид панел. Липидная панель. Пасик метаболик панел. Основная Метаболическая панель. Гемоглобин A1C. Тест на уровень гемоглобина A1C. Компрехенсив метаболик панел. Комплексная метаболическая панель. Cultures. Посевы или анализ крови на микрофлору. Тропонин тест. Тест на тропонин. Human blood. Человеческая кровь. The human blood is made of blood cells and plasma or the fluid part. Человеческая кровь состоит из клеток крови и плазмы или жидкой части крови. The cells are different kinds of muscle cells, bone cells, skin cells, and so on. Эти клетки представляют собой различные виды клеток, которые располагаются в мышцах, костях, коже и так далее. I'm sorry, guys. The reason that I am uh, so puzzled right now is because... Um... It's not that the, the, the... Я хочу коррегировать на русский. Это не то, что клетки находятся в мышце. Они мышечные клетки, клетки, костные клетки или кожные клеток и, и другие типы клеток. Они не находятся внутри. Они просто клетки, которые состоятся от эти ткани. Просто эти клетки. Просто, чтобы вы понимали. Извините, пожалуйста, I didn't check this, Anna. I've been distracted previously. But uh, I didn't know if though... Я не знаю, если эти клетки uh, располагаются внутри мышцы или костя. Я это не проверяла. Это можно быть точно правило, но я не знаю. Uh, на английской версии текста говорится, что эти клетки, uh, разные клетки, мускулные клетки, костные клетки или клетки кожи и так далее. The cells are in the plasma or the liquid part. Клетки плавают в жидкой части крови, плазме. I think it was meant here that they just like that blood runs through muscles, the bones and skin. I just it, it's not that they're inside the cells, they just We have blood inside all of those. But the, the English uh, test is saying, things. forgive me, Anna, what the English test, it says that the cells are different kinds. So we're not talking what the blood does, but we're talking about the cells. The cells are different kinds, which are muscle, bone, skin cells. We обсуждаем ткани эти клетки, а не то, что крови делает. Понимаешь? Ну, mm -hmm. все. Поэтому чуть-чуть неправильно, но без проблем. Я не знаю, если это располагается внутри мышцы и так далее. Просто на английский значение другое. Ну, без разницы, Анна, ты молодец. There are three main 
kinds of blood cells that create the blood. Red blood cells, white blood cells, and plasma. Существуют три основных вида клеток крови, из которых она состоит. Красные кровяные тельца, белые кровяные тельца и плазма. Plasma, the fluid part of the blood, is 90% water. Plasma, жидкая часть крови, на 90% состоит из воды. The most common red blood cells are corpuscles, hematodes, erythroids or erythrocytes with the main function of delivering oxygen to body tissue. Наиболее распространенными красными кровяными тельцами являются корпускулы, гематоды, эритроиды или эритроциты, основная функция которых заключается в доставке кислорода к тканям организма. And that, guys, it's the first, uh, the first slide of this or the first set of this training that talks about uh, hematology. And now I'm gonna share these slides, the last one, where we're gonna talk about our sources in creating this training. As you can see, this is just a promo video you're gonna be able to see in YouTube. The materials that I used to create those slides and create the manual that you're going to be able to purchase online, I believe on Amazon, is Michigan Medicine, University of Michigan, Arterial Blood Gases, University of Rochester Medical Center, Arterial Blood Gases, Clayman, Stentman, Jim, Brechman, and Felice, the textbook, Clinical Practice Guideline, Blood Gas Analysis, and Hemohemetry, U.S. National Library of Medicine, Medline Plus Blood Gases. I also use website Mayo Clinic, Cleveland Clinic, Radiology Info Org, VeryWellHealth.com, and UpToDate.com. Источники, которые мы использовали за создавание эти слайда. Please proceed, Anna. Мичиганская медицина, Университет Мичигана, газы артериальной крови. Медицинский центр Университета Рочестера «Газы артериальной крови», Клигман, Стентон, Джем, Берман и Феличи, учебник по педиатрии Нельсона, руководство по клинической практике, анализ газов крови и гемоксиметрия, Национальная медицинская библиотека США, Медлайн Плюс, газы крови, веб-сайты verywellhealth.com, radiologyinfo.org, clevelandclinic.org, mayoclinic.org and uptodate.com. The text is written, slides and designed by me. You guys already know me if you're on my YouTube channel. I'm Bulgarian, Italian, Russian, and Macedonian interpreter, recently passionate about Ukrainian languages. And you can find me here on YouTube. If you like to purchase the entire training, you can click on the link below this video and it's going to take you to my platform on Thinkific where you can purchase video by video or entire classes. If you need interpreting or translating services, you can click on the link below and find me on LinkedIn under Joanna Todorova. Uh, my name is Anna. I'm an English-Russian translator. You can find me on Upwork and check out my reviews there or can message me on LinkedIn. Contact me. And thank you so much, guys, for being here. Uh, thank you. I am greeting you from the rainy Colorado. I hope you like this video. And if you want to learn the terminology, you can purchase the training and also the book pamphlet that is going to come on Amazon, I believe. Thank you, guys, for being here. Thank you, everyone. Uh, we hope it was helpful. Goodbye.